Whether you're talking about a Congress in its final months or a presidency at the end of its term, a lame duck stands for those in power who suddenly have very little power left. But to figure out how a gimpy water bird became the go-to metaphor of an interim government, you'd have to look to the stock market. Let's be clear about one thing. All those who talk about lame ducks in the post-Reagan era are dead wrong. The phrase lame duck first appeared in a letter written by an English politician in 1761. It soon became common slang among English stockbrokers to describe someone who defaulted on their financial obligations. The lame duck eventually waddled over to the United States, where it picked up its modern meaning, the session when Congress meets after an election, but before newly elected members are sworn in. Lame duck sessions used to be much longer than they are today. Because of slow communications and long travel times, the Constitution originally gave a new Congress a start date of no sooner than March 4th, though it could be pushed back all the way to December if needed. In 1933, the 20th Amendment dealt with this problem by shortening the amount of time between when members of Congress and presidents were replaced by their successors. The time between Election Day and swearing in was reduced to about two months, with Congress opening a new session in early January and presidential inaugurations mandated for January 20th. Of course, a lame duck Congress isn't necessarily a Congress without power, but the amount accomplished and the length of the session have varied widely over the years. The 80th Congress in 1948 convened for just one day, and then only to formally close the session. More recently, in 2010, the 111th Congress passed three major measures during their lame duck period. The repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, an extension of the Bush era tax cuts, and ratification of a new arms treaty with Russia. This used to be unthinkable. It was considered unfair to the voters who had made their feelings known about current office holders. But with Congress passing historically low numbers of laws, the lame duck period is turning into one of the busiest times of year on Capitol Hill. <laughs>